Hey guys, Zero here. Uh, I got another unboxing to share with you guys. Uh, this one is not 40k. Uh, it's actually one of my other little hobbies, my die-cast car collecting. Um, I did a Batman uh, Arkham Knight unboxing a while ago, uh, and I want to show you guys something else. Uh, while I was in the hospital, um, you know, I couldn't couldn't write, couldn't draw, couldn't paint because my hands were real shaky. You know, and they, they were like, you know, when you get out, you're not going to be able to use your X-Acto knives and your clippers and stuff right away because, you know, shaky hands can't help it. It's part of the medication. But they didn't say I couldn't use a screwdriver. So I was looking online for something I could do to pass the time in the hospital. You know, because it's, it's boring, man. You just sit there. You know, I built a couple Lego sets. You know, because I like Legos too. Um, but I found these die-cast cars that you could build. You know, it's real simple. You just screw stuff together, put it together, whatever. And I was like, oh, I could do one of those. You know what I'm saying? Like, But I never got the chance to get one while I was in the hospital. So I had ordered some, but they came after I got out. So I wanted to share this with you guys. Um, so we're going we're gonna to do an unboxing of this. It's from Maisto. M Maisto? I think that's the way you pronounce it, Maestro. Um, it's an assembly line kit. It is a Lamborghini Gallardo LP 564 or 560.4. You know, they give you the different rings and stuff you can choose from. You know, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys real quick. I'll unbox it. You know, we'll go over that. Uh, I got a second one for a special project. Uh, this one. Is a 69 Dodge 69 Charger or 1969 Dodge Charger RT. Um, it's exactly the same model and year of the General Lee. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually trying to contact someone from the guy who does uh, Diecast Resurrections YouTube channel, Facebook page, and Instagram. He's, he's phenomenal with taking the paint off these things and, you know. Uh, restoring them. He restores old Hot Wheels cars, all types of uh, diecast cars. If you get the chance, check out his page. It's Diecast Resurrection. Um, he's all over the internet, like I said, YouTube, uh, Instagram, Facebook. Check out his YouTube videos. I, I find them very therapeutic. They're, they're awesome. Just watching him go through the process of stripping these cars down and stuff like that. It's really cool. Um, so give him a shout. Tell him Zero sent you, whatever. Uh, but I'm gonna see if I can get him to change this to the General Lee. It's just a little pet project. I could go and buy one, but they're like a hundred bucks, pretty much, you know, or, or up up in that range. And I didn't want to spend a hundred dollars on a diecast car. It's just not, you know. I have other hobbies that could use that money. So, and money's tight right now. So, <laughs> um, but we're gonna get this uh, Lamborghini to the table, and we're gonna unbox it for you guys. And I will probably do a build video. I think I think I will I'll do like a time lapse build video. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments below in this one, and you know I'll do I'll do the video of it. You know, because I'm not going to build it right now, but I'll wait and see what you guys think. And if you guys want to see it, I'll build it, and you, you know we'll put the video up, um, and hopefully we we'll get some progress on the General Lee project. All right, be right back. All right, guys, uh, we have. The Maisto Lamborghini Gallardo LP 560-4 uh, assembly line kit. Um, it's a 124 scale kit, uh, which goes with most of the 124s I have. I do have some 118ths, some 143rds, some 136ths. I love cars. I love diecast cars. I love, I love cars. I can't drive because of my blindness, but I admire car I love cars. Just So here we have the rear of the package. It's got some motor detail, some interior detail. You've got all the pieces here. Um, no glue, no cutting. Yay! It's got. It's even got an official Lamborghini Lamborghini logo there. That's pretty cool. Here's the top, and the side, and the other side, and then the bottom. There's a lot of rumbling around in here. I'm wondering if there's just pieces floating around. Not cool, myself. Not cool. Um, but I actually want to get my hands on some um, 
some die-cast GT cars, uh, you know, like from the European races and stuff. I think those are so cool. I have a 143rd AMG, and I want to get some more. They're, they're so cool. Um, but that's another story for another time. Um, but yeah, we're going to crack this open and take a look and see what uh, what we need to do. Made in China. It says it has 31 parts. Die-cast metal model kit. Morning, 8 plus, 8 years and older, skill level 2. So I should be able to handle this because it's skill level 2. I should be good. I, I feel like I am. I'm going to I'm gonna give it a shot. Let's crack this thing open and see what we got inside. I want to find out what's in there rattling around. Okay. Ah, that's what's rattling around. Okay. So we'll put this over there. We got all the parts. There's our car. They give you two sets of wheels, the same wheel, but one is flat silver and the or brushed silver and the other one's chrome. And I think we're gonna go with the chrome on this one just because it's a more modern car, you know. So we'll set that there. Oh, let's put this over here. Got a little plastic tray. Whoop. That's what was floating around. The rear view mirror. Tiny. I'm going to have to paint that up. Put some silver in there. Oh, they have decals. <laughs> That's cool. So we've got tires. We've got interior parts. Let's see if I can... Let's see if I can show you guys this somehow. There's tires on all the interior pieces. Some decals. The door panels. That's cool. Seats. Uh, the seats are actually black and red, but I think I'm going to paint those to be white and red. I think I want the interior to be white. You know, make that shit look clean. Um, I might. I don't know. I'm, I'm debating on it. So I'm excited. Uh, I might do it uh, red and white, you know, kind of go with the theme. And maybe even paint up those flat wheels to make them red. All right. Oh, another piece. I've got a steering wheel. And then the steering wheel. It's got some pretty cool detail on it. It's got the Lambo symbol on there. I don't even know if you can see that, but I'm gonna see if I'm gonna see if I can show you that. If the camera will even pick it up. But there's a Lamborghini symbol right on the center of the steering wheel. That's pretty cool. That's probably why they, they had to get licensing from Lambo to do these cars. Um, they have some other kits that I really wanted to get. Uh, there's a Camaro that I wanted to pick up, but you know, I don't know. I might I might just uh, just go with this one in the Charger for now. So here's the chassis. Oh, so you just plug the wheel on there. Okay, that's kind of cool. There's a little bit of detail on the bottom, nothing major. I mean, it's a 124. I don't, I didn't expect a lot of detail, plus it's a kit. Like you can get some 124s that have amazing, like they're literally model kits, die cast model kits that someone put together and, you know, has every piece accountable. It's pretty cool. But this is cool too. Like I said, this is just going to be on the display. So I didn't want to spend a lot of money. I actually went to Michael's. True story. We've been looking around for these for a while. Target, Walmart. I know I've seen them, but nobody carries them. So we popped over to Michael's and of course they had them for like 30 bucks. And I was like, man, 30 bucks is kind of a lot, you know. But most of the websites have them for that price, so I know that's the average price. Here's the uh, interior with engine detail. That's kind of cool, but I'm going to have to paint that up too because that engine looks pretty plain. So I'm going to primer all this interior stuff. We're going to paint it up. We're going to get it nice. We're going to get it looking like it belongs in that white body. Um... But yeah, we, you know, we went to uh, Michael's, and I saw it, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this one. And we happen to have, because we get, you know, we're, we're part of the, the Michael's experience. Um, we happen to have a 50% off coupon. We actually had two of them. Um, so I, you know, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna just grab this guy for 50% off. I got him for 15 bucks, man. Not even 15. It was like 14.50. You know. Look at that rear end. It's pretty cool. She got a nice ass. Don't tell my wife I said that. 
the bonnet doesn't open up it's just fixed there but that's cool the rear the rear one does the doors open not very not very wide but they do open that's actually not wide at all he's, he's stuck in a small parking space uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty straightforward. There's there's the underneath. Got all the screws and the parts for the holding the glass and stuff and the dash. Really really cool. Um, I am not a big fan of the Galato. I'll be honest with you. I like the Murcielago. I like the Diablo, the Countach. Uh, there's other Lamborghinis I like. The Galato's cool, but it's not my favorite. Um, there was this or a Enzo Ferrari in red and I liked the red but I didn't like the I don't like the Enzo Ferrari I'm just not a fan of that car I don't I don't I'm not a, I just I was like you know what Lamborghini or Ferrari that's all and I went to a couple different Michaels too you know because we were we were shopping that day for our, uh, craft stuff and that's all they had was these two so I was like all right well I'm gonna go with the Lamborghini then I'm not a fan of white either but you know I'm gonna make it work we're gonna we're gonna build this guy up. We're gonna paint him. We're gonna make it work. Here are the assembly guide for this kit. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward. You screw everything in. There's nothing on the back, so it's just six steps. That's actually probably one of the easiest kits I've ever put together. Um, yeah, I think that is one of the quickest kits I've ever We'll see. I'm going to do the build video. Like I said, if you guys want, I'll do a build video on this. I'll, I'll get it, you know, we'll do time lapse and stuff so you guys aren't sitting there bored. You know, I don't know how long it's going to take me. You know, it is a skill, skill level two, so it might take me a minute to get it done. You know, um, but we'll, we'll, we'll go for, we'll go for broke and see how we do. And you guys, you know, like I said, in, the, in the, the comments below in this video, please let me know if you guys want to see the build. If you do, I will do it on camera. If not, it's cool. I, I, I won't. You know, whatever you guys want. It's going to take me a little bit before I can build it anyway. So, you know, don't be shy. You know, leave those comments. Um, like, share. You know the, you know the routine. Um, But if I like this kit, and I probably, I mean, I, I like it enough to buy it, right? But if I like the way it goes together and the way it displays and stuff like that, I might look for some other ones. Like I said, I, there was a Camaro that they had. It's like orange and black. Really modern looking Camaro. I want to get my mitts on. See if I can build that guy. You know. The box isn't closed. What the F? What the F, Maestro? Anyways, that is the Maestro Lamborghini Gallardo uh, LP560-4. I don't know what that means, but I'm wondering if that means 560 horsepower, because that's ridiculous for a little car like that. But I don't doubt it though, because Lamborghinis are pretty pretty quick, unless they're going up against Evos, and then then they're not so quick. But you guys know how I feel about Evos. So, all right. Thank you guys for watching. Um, please let me know in the comments below if I should do the build video or if I should just knock this out and put, a display, put it on display. It's up to you guys. I'm down for either one. Um, and I appreciate your feedback. Uh, I just hit 100 subscribers a couple days ago, and now I'm up to like 105, and I really appreciate it. I'm, I am doing a giveaway. Uh, I got a magazine coming that, you know, for, for someone, I'm going to do a random giveaway. So... I'm on Instagram, so if you can follow me, if you want to follow me on Instagram, and, uh, you know, I'll put a picture up of this thing on Instagram, or I'll put a picture up of the magazine on Instagram, and you guys can comment on there, just comment hello, whatever, if you're subscribed to the channel, you're, you're, you're following me on Instagram, and you follow my Facebook page, we'll do the, we'll, we'll, we'll select someone random from there. And I'll send that magazine out as soon as possible. Alright, but let me know about the build. 
I really appreciate it, guys. I'm excited for these. These are cool. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.